novice mistake. Hello and welcome back to my unprofessional Gwent gameplay series. We uh, we need to talk. Obviously, uh, no epic intro today. It's for a couple reasons. Number one, this is my long week for work. Um, I had to work Monday, Tuesday, and I go back in Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I stayed up after my 12-hour shift to stream for you guys to make sure I, uh, I had a video out sooner than I anticipated. Uh, as you've seen, I did a purge of my uh, uh, stockpiled uh, videos. I like to have a couple on file just in case something happens. Um, but I decided to get them all out there this week because of the recent news. And I'm going to try to not prattle on and, and ramble too much. I, I haven't scripted anything, uh, so forgive my ADHD rattle mind if I go off course a little bit. But, uh, of course, everybody already knows uh, 2024... CDPR is uh, putting Gwent into maintenance mode, sunsetting it, whatever you want to call it. And I, there's been nothing but l lamentations and gnashing of teeth. It's as if Gwent is already dead. I beg to differ. We just got a huge card drop. These cards are nuts. I don't know what some of these do, honestly. I, I, I know this and, uh, and that. and Yeah, I'm so, I'm so working on it. These The biggest nastiest cards I've ever seen, honestly. We should be celebrating this. I mean, this is this is massive. Every deck has gotten a huge boost. Huge. Uh, I can't wait to see what else there is. I played uh, I played Monsters and uh, and Skellige today, and it was it was amazing. I I had an absolute blast. Um, we should not focus on on the end of Gwent. We should focus on the time we have left. We should be thankful they, they gave us a heads up and not just lights out. So we we know the timeline. And also it's not is not guaranteed to be over with in a year either. Um I don't necessarily think the community is going to be able to keep it going for very long. Um but I I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. Might go on for I don't know six months after uh, after the CDP, CDPR. See, I'm very tired after CDPR pulls out all the way, or it might go on for a couple of years. Um, depends on how motiv how motivated and dedicated the the community is to uh, keeping the balance batch. I don't see I see a, a steep decline when we stop getting official content though, uh, and that's actually par for the course. Uh, most games, this is the average lifespan. Um, the, the handful of games that are over five years old that are, that are continuing to receive, uh, consistent updates, uh, from the developers, uh, Minecraft, uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, um, Grand Theft Auto 5, that's like it, Team Fortress 2, kinda, um, of those companies, which ones have made new games? Uh, Microsoft doesn't make games. They bought out uh, Mojang for Minecraft. They haven't made a new game. When's the last time you've seen a, uh, a Valve game, by the way? Uh, where's Half-Life 3, please? Uh, now, Grand Theft Auto 5 made a billion dollars. So, of course, they have plenty of resources to make Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 6 while still milking their massive cash cow they built for themselves. So, as a company, it would make sense for CDPR to move on. It is sad, uh, because we all love Gwent. Obviously, that's why we're here. That's why I'm here. Um, so what am I doing? Uh, I Gwent will be the flagship of my channel until it sinks. Um, and by when it sinks, I mean when the community loses interest in it. Because as much as I love the game, obviously... The the draw for me is is both the game and the interaction I have uh, with the viewers. I I lost um, I lost the drive like last this actually this uh, January I want to say I lost the drive to make videos. I didn't upload for like six months. Um, uh, I I put a couple things up on uh, on Bushy's viewer games, but like that was it. Like I didn't uh, for a fair clip. I was I was like and I was still playing Gwent was the thing. I just wasn't making videos. 
Um, what got me back into it is when Renfrey came out, I looked at the uh, the Renfrey gang thing and realized I could make some cheese out of it. And that video is my highest viewed video to date. It's got five over 5,000 views on it. That really lit a fire under me. Like, you know, yeah, I know that's a one-off, but I, you know, I think I'd... I think I maybe can make something out of this. And obviously, I'm not getting paid for it. This is a, a, a hobby I'm very passionate about. Um, so yeah, I I will continue. Even if even when the the community support completely dries up, I will revisit it from time to time just for nostalgia's sake. I've had so far, I've had two and a half going on, three and a half by the time you know, be like three and a half good years out of it. My one regret is uh, I wasn't able to play an open beta, so I lost a few years on it. But I, I do appreciate the time I've had. Um, everybody I've met along the way, all my viewers, Team Creve, uh, the guys I've talked to at CDPR. I've only been a partner for two months, and, you know, we get, we get this bombshell. It's great. Uh, but, yeah, no. Gwent will be the flagship of the channel until the community sinks. Uh, at what point uh, that happens, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you. I'll just let, I'm letting you know right now, for the next year... It's going to be Gwent City up in here. Now, does that mean I'm going to idly sit by and, uh, and and just wait? No, it's not it's not a good idea. Um, obviously, I've already been kind of experimenting with adding additional content as far as, like, Marvel Snap. And no, Marvel Snap will not be Gwent's replacement. I, I enjoy Marvel Snap to a point, but playing more than an hour of that game is, uh, is grating. You know I mean? Uh, it, it's a it's a game where I can pick it up like on smoke break. Uh, I can't uh, sitting there for like an hour. It's like oh, okay, I'm kind of kind of over this. But it is some nice little extra content for us. Easy easy recording. Um, so, but I have a couple ideas. Uh, actually, tomorrow after I wake up, I want to start on one. We'll see how it sticks. See how it sticks. Um, obviously. Variety channels don't do very well, so I'd like to find something that's uh, not Minecraft and <laughs> be the billionth Minecraft channel out there. Although I do kind of want to make a Minecraft video. Uh, but yeah, we'll just find something that sticks. Maybe we'll try out uh, Magic the Gathering, some other kind of card game. Maybe try out a couple shooters, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just see what happens. We'll continue to add things here and there and see what sticks, and uh, gradually we'll uh, we'll transition. But uh, we're, we're not abandoning Gwent anytime soon. And uh, I just wanted to, to reassure everybody that um, I'm not going anywhere. If you see different content popping up, it's just me preparing for the inevitable. Uh, so, but yeah, I do appreciate you guys for, for sticking around and, uh, I, I hope you, uh, I hope you all, uh, stay around through this, uh, this trying time and, uh, please cheer up. It's not over yet. Everything's fine. Everything is so fine. We have the memes. Now I've wasted a whole bunch of time with my, uh, my speech, so I'm not going to get, uh, super into this. Also, I can't think straight right now, so I'm just going to run through the strategy real quick. Uh, deck list is in the description, as always, for you guys. Uh, so, you can see where we're running here. Fakushia, Aniromancy, Sol... Uh, oh, boy. Svalblood and Svalblood Tokum, Olaf, all, all this damage stuff. We are not running tier. Tier's good. Tier's really good. Not in this list. Um... I, you have to build very specifically for tier, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go full ham on the cheese mode today. We're rocking small blood. Damage all uh, deploy. Damage all units by one. Whenever a bear abomination enters your side of the battlefield, repeat the deploy ability. The first time you deal six damage to units each turn, spawn a small blood fanatic on on this row. Oh god, sleep deprivation, I tell you. It's small blood fanatic over here. When uh, you know Berserk 2, they change you to a bear abomination, it triggers that. Basically, we can ch daisy chain a bunch of uh damage everything together. And uh, of course, while Dagger Two Blades is on the board, it's racking up points. Uh setup is basically you want to win round one by brute force. That entails uh dropping down your uh, your veteran, 
with your priest, get a bunch of points going on, scare them off with a Highland Warlord, even though our only raid cards are uh, Primal Savagery and Feral Bond. Uh, I don't play these until you get your Small Blood out. Don't play, definitely don't play Totem until you get Small Blood out. Uh, Nick Olaf and hit him with the, the Heim. Make this that 30 point swing is very nice. Uh, and just take it pretty much by any means necessary. If you have to, you can go small blood. Uh, we do have means to play him a second time. I wouldn't recommend it though. Uh, I'd recommend saving it because this is uh, small blood is a kill me now card or you lose. So he's got a massive target. Uh, it's a good idea to keep seeing drift is just in case he, he gets got. Also, he damages himself. When he damages all units, so it's highly likely that he's gonna get got. Uh, I would say Fakushia for Dagger Two Blades, because once again, probably gonna get got. Mm, seen a couple of heat waves today, but it was mostly just raw brute force damage. Um, and yeah, the way I set it up is, I, you know, I wait for about six units to be on the board. Uh, I'll, I'll play off uh, the token, then I'll drop down. Small blood. He damages everything, but he doesn't trigger the fanatics right away. So we're big chill, and then we drop down dagger. We trigger one of them fanatics, and then he dam uh, small blood damages everything. Triggers the other fanatic, spawns a fanatic, uh, damages by one. It's just a chain, and then uh, dagger's just over there doing just getting juicy. I like to wait for for dagger to be down before I make that massive chain. It's okay to waste a couple points. Uh, before we get Dagger down for setup. It's harder to remove that way. Obviously, uh, Covenant of Steel, big priority. If you go up against movement decks, you're big sad. Try to get the movement tech out uh, as soon as possible. And you do have the opportunity to replay Dagger and Small Blood, but you have to be judicious with your uh, Fakusha and your Sigdrippa. You, if you're doing good, you're not getting murdered. You can bring back Heim, Olaf. Um, I probably, I'd probably go for one of these lower dudes to get the rain value off on uh, Fukushima, but that's just me. Anyway, uh, you can see how I played it in the video. That's the deck. Everybody, cheer up, please. <laughs> It'll be okay, I promise. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. We got the 300 Spartans. This is Sparta! Now the army is growing to over 500. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> that means we're over halfway to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for all the love and support. This has been my fastest growth period on my channel ever, and I really appreciate you all for that. At 1K, I'm planning on doing a face reveal and doing some Patreon stuff to interact with you guys more. In the meantime, I'm finally streaming on Twitch. If you want to hang out with me live on stream, make sure you follow my Twitter to be notified when I'm going live. If you like short form videos, I post highlights and intros on TikTok. But most importantly, if you like my videos and you want to see more of them, make sure you Sparta kick that subscribe button. All right, what is what is what, what is this dwarves? There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done. Dwarves with you. didn't get anything. Is my man playing an old deck? Two days after release, what? Sacrilege. All right, we got both of these. That's good. This is good. Should secure us round one. Hmm. I mean, I mean. Not gonna beat Fukushima round one. That's pretty good. Probably not gonna need to purify, I don't think. Alright, obviously our proactive play is here. I knows it well. I think about what I want to put at the bottom of my deck. I kinda like all this actually. But I do need a Nero. Um, solid being in deck isn't great because I know quacks exists. Uh, however, we do have Sea Trip is right. Uh, so you consider my options here. These two are good for Feral Bond because we can pull. 
We can pull another Berserker off of that, get some more bears going on. The more bears we have, the better. Every time a bear happens, we do Mondo damage. However, I think Feral Bond is my weakest card here. So... Let's get some points rolling. Take some of this. Put that back. We have two of them. We're just, we might draw the other one. Also, we have more more ways of doing bear stuff. Uh, we'll probably hit him with the old classic uh, Heimloff. You know. Get some super nasty Mondo points going on here. Everybody loves that. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, that's fine if he wants to do that. We'll have to have a ridiculous amount of points here, so I'm cool with it. going for all the resilience please put that <laughs> the uh decides to tag team my dude here now nah, he knows better okay cool this is kind of a terrible waste is it is it really what else is O'Nero getting me here? Hmm. If we stop their resilience, this is probably worth it. I'm not super happy about this, but... Ah, uh, that gives us a leader charge as well. He decides to reactivate that at the cost of his leader. That might mean he's Renfri. No, no, it doesn't. Leo, what's wrong with you? Plato Neuromancy. Um. No. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought he was targeting uh, that thing there. Okay, so. I'm not super keen on going for Kushin now, even though it is activated. We're just going to hit him with the Heim. I believe. No. We'll get this rolling. Scars are all the trophies I need. Saves us from a pass. We could... If he decides to pass here, we could... Like... Fukushia this? If we did it that way, we'd need to... Say Drifa... Olaf... And Fukushia Heim. Which we could do. If all else sticks. My man should not have a lot of points. He does have a lot of armor, which sucks, not gonna lie. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north. So I'm probably gonna have to damage my units in order to do this, but once I start picking off that armor, it should be alright. This should persuade him to leave me alone. And also, no more resilience. Get good. Um, is he playing all the way out here? He's going for the resilience. I have passive points. He doesn't. What else does he have? He's got. Ooh, that's big. Like. Well. Yeah. Alright, so... 
He's got two resilienced units. I could get out of it. There we go. I could get out of this. I need uh, either Sigdrifa or Pakusha. I get neither. Okay. <clears throat> he kind of wants the long round, though, doesn't he? Does he pass here? Make me go card down. Spin some good stuff. Feral Bond. If he does pass, Feral Bond ought to be... No, he does pass. Okay, cool. So... We can weasel all his goods out of him. Just try to save Dagger and... Uh... Not dagger, Sigtrifa and uh, Pakusha, and I can reactivate this later. Start with the humble defender. Who's next? Any of you's got the courage? I would think he'd want a long round because of Bruver and all that. Maybe not, though. Okay, he's doing this. Which I'm not very upset about. Let's see if we can pull off of this. That's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. Totem's big sag waste waste that here. But we might have to. I mean my man's gonna be spewing forth points. Wow dude. Okay. What's a Neuromancy for? A Neuromancy's for a Neuromancy's actually probably the save here. So let's go here. Man, he's got a lot of armor back there. I can damage one, two, three, four, five, six, so I meet the condition. Rip off some of that armor in the back. If it is Bruver, I'll brick that up real nice. There's Bruver. Okay, cool. So, I may need to trigger this right away. As a matter of fact, yes. That is a fact. My man kind of did me a little bit of a favor there. Go here. Strip off all that armor. Oh, that flips, huh? Wild. We'll go... Here. And yeah, we're liking that. What's your last card there, bud? I don't really want to burn Onero here. I think Onero's better saved to secure the Vakusha since I... Mm, since I, uh, Molder. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so. I'm gonna need several points. Need 10. And a lot of armor. I get two back off of this. That'll flip, I think. One of these guys in a tap's good enough. Kind of don't like doing this. And actually, it's not Fukushi that I need. It's uh, Sig Dripper, so we might be okay doing this, actually. Flip this. 
Disgusting. Love it. And we still have the totem, so if we get some more of the dudes, we can flip them. This, this is absolutely heinous, what we're doing here. We get the Fakushia, but we need Sigdrifa. Can I have... We, no, we can't have it. Okay, so... So Dagger ain't no good, huh? <laughs> we can't get this back with, with uh, Fakushia. Um... Actually, Dagger is good. I just have to see what row he's going to play into. Also, I need to start using leader charges. Okay. Uh, we have... Okay. Yeah, we have plays here. We just need to see what row he's playing into for Fukusha to make Dagger good. Uh-huh. I'll hold off on leaders for right meow. Dagger may not actually be good because of the armor. It will impact his ability. And also, he can just play melee now. Which he does, he knows. He is a knower. Might as well do this now. Give me some time to think about what needs to happen here. I have full leader. This is three. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright, so what I need to do... I need to tap this down to three. So it's two taps there, two taps here. That actually works out. Or does it? And that doesn't work as easy as I thought it would. Okay, so point conservation. I need to go... I'm losing a point no matter what I do here. That should flip over, right? At three? Yeah. Yeah, we got this. Got that easy. Easy mode. Dwarves have fallen very hard. And I can't say that I'm too upset about that. Good game, sir. Good game. Oh. Uh, well. The wrong I think we know what to expect here. Uh, I'm actually kind of cool going first because of stratagem. That's proactive. I like it. Uh, I don't want to... Look at all this round three stuff. I don't want to give up all my bear, bear things. Highland Warrior. Is there anything... We do have... Chungus, don't we? Where's Chungus at? Chungus... There's Chungus. Okay, no, all right, we don't have Chungus, so we do have a Neuromancy, so we can toss something back for the Chungus. I don't know what that would be. Probably a Bond. Feral Bond is probably the choice. Go ahead and walk away from this. Get a squeeze. I'm just gonna do it before I think about it too much. By the way, talk about sick artwork. That's really nice. That was probably my favorite artwork in the last expansion. I mean, this, this thing's kind of pretty gnarly, too. What is what is going on up here? Oh, man, it's having a headache. What is that? Moving enemy. I don't understand how these stupid things work. Moving enemy to the other row. At the end of your turn, spawn frost. 
on each road to which a frost was applied this turn. You see, yeah, that's fun and all. I think so. uh, uh, is uh, that's a good power play later. Let's go here. Stars are all the trophies, eh? We'll show the man who's boss here in a minute. You got some passive points with uh, the priest if he moves it or something. If he moves it or something, we can drop Olaf down. We're actually trying to get leader charges out of him because of dagger. Oh, yay, fun. I love being cold and frosty. Saves us a leader charge. Eh, okay. So that kind of works, actually. We got one leader out of him. Nobody tell him we're dagger. Also, he's got the dudes. I man, Are you cold, human insect? I've been saying for a long time we need a way to counter movement. There's no way to make stuff stick on the board. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here with the heim, and we're gonna do this. Flip that. Now lots of points. Humble uh, 28 points, I believe. That should draw out the queen, right? Oh, you replayed that? I'm sorry. We've caught another taskmaster. I moved this. My ice will pierce yeah, I can't necessarily do anything about the queen here. This is good later, but it's also good right here. It's not gonna it's not gonna eat its way down At times, nature to the veteran. Um I don't wanna play anything else. Oh god, here we go. Okay, well he missed the deploy on that. Not the deploy. Oh wait a minute. Oh no, I got that backward. This queen's gonna pop off super hard. He's got one leader charge left. That leader charge could do me in. We're behind by six, ten points plus the queen by two. Yeah, I think we have to pass here. I don't think I can make that point gap up. I would have to go... I would have to do things I don't really want to do. So he's still got leader. He's got those stupid idiots that... Uh, or he probably does that, that move things. He's got this, which I'm not super thrilled about. He's got... Granthier Golden Child. That's a good drive pass for us. He's not going to drive pass, though. Not at all. Should probably go Covenant of Steel. Mm, I should probably go... Mm. Just have to see. If I got to go all in here, I need... Need Sigdrifa and Fukusha. So that means I can do just about everything except a Neuromancy. Because I don't trust my draws. I may draw one of them, but it's highly unlikely to draw both because it's me and I'm not lucky. Now our opening move here. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. We're he's going for it, so. Uh, 
I don't even have a primal in hand. That's funny. Um, I'm just gonna set that up at the lowest tempo. Maybe he'll think it's a good idea to pass. Probably not. So my primals are up to four, which is good. Better than two. That's wonderful. We love it. Should I try to bait him into moving the covenant? <laughs> I mean, I could just play it here, right? And he moves it back here. And then I'm exposed. Let's try to bait him. Yeah, I want this back here. I uh, read the card. We gotta act it up. Why isn't this premium, by the way? What is wrong with me? Yeah, we're reading the card. We're acting. He's done it! He's done it! We baited him! We baited him! We baited him! Ah! Let's go! We baited him! Ah! Oh, get baited, son! Okay. Now, what we're gonna do now... Uh, that armor kind of sucks, but it's fine. It's fine. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go down here. We're going to solve blood next. Seven turns up. Frost, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, he's all in, my dudes. My man is going for it. He's got a slight lead on me, but that's fine. Ah, uh, we go here. Okay, we ripped that armor off, which is actually fantastic for us. Ah. Uh, drop down. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, that's not good. I think he's got destroying stuff. What the hell? Um. Okay, we go here. I think I want to do this. I mean, we need to catch up on points big time. Okay. We've we've got we've gotten ahead. Now what you gonna do? Okay, I figured that, yeah. Which is just great. Um Okay, he has dominance. I need to go for this primal. Didn't I literally just say something about needing to save that for Fukusha? I think I did. Uh, also, very inopportune spot for that, my dude. Maybe smarty passes. So I literally need you and you. He's, he is SMRT. I think this hurts me more than it does him, but it's fine. It's a tie, dude. What do you mean? I didn't want to give up leader, but I reckon we have to. Alright, is Fall Blood even good? I don't have triggers for it. I have to go another route here. Those are kind of my best options. Okay, well, is it? He's probably a Caranthier Golden Child. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Karathia is going to be 
huge. Absolutely huge. I took all the damage. Okay, I don't have a trigger for... I don't have a trigger for small blood. So what I need to do... I have to sig... Olaf. Okay. We see Olaf. We can, he's only 14. That's interesting. Go here. Okay. Very interesting. Hopefully he plays one more card ranged. That would be super nice. This is gonna be real tight here. That's his biggest card that I know of. And I believe he was Devotion, I think. What was that? Was that a... In Yadith, I think. Alrighty then. Let's see what... He took a couple points away from me on my Heim. But it is what it is. Don't forget to click. We're not clicking that. Okay, that's a lot of points. But does he have it? I'm also gaining passive. Ooh, that deploys big. That deploys big. Does he have another one of those? Yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. Ah! That didn't quite go the way I wanted it to, but it uh, turned out the way I did. So, mm, good game, sir. Good game. Oh, what on earth is this going to be? I've gone first every every game this this today. By the way, it's fine. I like it. I'm not complaining. It's just an observation. We have Olaf in hand. We have engines in hand. I, we have Onero in hand. We have it. We have everything. We have Heim in hand. Boy, hashtag blessed. I don't think we actually need Curse Scroll. As much as I like Primal, we might use Curse Scroll. Not Primal, Feral. Feral. As, long, as much as I like Feral, we may trade it out for a Warlord because the, prim the Primals are more important, they're more consistent. To get the bear abominations, it's just that we can with the feral bond. My man has Calvate, which uh, don't do that. Leo, stop clicking things. There we go. Um, go warlord. It's incredibly low tempo, but at card seven, it shouldn't matter that much. Uh, we get a Nero for the other one. And then we've got the, the classic... <laughs> Sick. Sick, dude. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we Warlord. Ah, uh, Duchesses. Toast, my guy. Oh, I... Rude, bro. Rude. Unacceptable. Completely and utterly unacceptable. Let's go ahead and get the other one out. If he squirrels my own Nero, I'm big badge. The stench of beer. I know so well. Look at the state of his hand. His hand is golder than Jamie Landerson's from Game of Thrones. Hail Kerzer. Uh, don't want to play this. 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 
is uh, it's just U2 and a pass. And that puts us at card four. So we're in good shape if I can get a pass out of him by then. Uh, you went for a... Uh, excuse me? What do you mean? Oh, and a proc, too, because there's a druid, right? Yeah. Oh, you dirty little boy. How dare you. Try to save a leader charge. See if that baits out like an Inbo or something, maybe. If it does, I'm kind of sad because I got that to throw Heim on too, but hey, you know, that's Gwent, baby. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry? How dare you? How's that cost? Three leader charges. Is it worth it? I mean, I literally have nothing else to play it onto, so yeah. We're mad. Big madge. Oh, click, Leo. What's wrong with you? I just expect it to work automatically. Oh, we got the pass out of him. Can you believe it? It worked. It actually worked. We are workers. Fantastic. Excellent news, really. Ah, uh, let's see here. We don't have... We can get him. We just go for it here, I wonder. I'm on card seven, he's on card eight. He's got all his best stuff in hand. We may just go for it here, actually. Let's let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Set up defender. And we, what's the next move actually? Probably, uh, probably, to, oh, you know, I should pass. How about that? Let's do that. Uh, so probably totem. Then... After Totem, we get Invoed, which is good, actually. Let's go ahead and rock the Totem. I want to save. This is my last copy of Nero. I, want, ah, I do need it to get uh, Buddy out. I wonder what kind of removal he would have. Uh huh. Wow, what a synergy that is, huh? Am I all in on this? I very well might be. Yeah, I don't want him copying that, of all things. Not that. I'm going to go ahead and pull that. I think the next move is going to be salt, fall blood. That's concerning, but I do have a Brathens. Oh, if he go, ooh, if he goes leader, I'm kind of in trouble. Hashtag no leader. Hashtag no leader, baby. Never punish. If he gets that dagger, I'm in a lot of trouble. Like, a lot, a lot of trouble. I have far more units on my side of the board than he does. He can outpoint me. He takes... Fakusha? Four. Ah. 
He's got a priest in there. Okay, that's fine. No leader means hashtag winning. And I can do this. Ho 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 ho. That's dirty. Mmm, so dirty, yes. <laughs> I gotta play this guy out next. With a. Excuse me. Don't. 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 What a scumbag. Hmm. Yes. Well, you see, we do have a substantial lead here, so. You know, that's cool. I'm gonna put this up here. The rain's gonna. Help me out here a little bit. Dagger is still popping off, and we have rain on the side of the board. We get experimental remedied for something, something nasty, most likely. Okay. Well, that just means we go here. We will maintain one leader just in case. We are quite far ahead in points. But he does have passive engines going on. Our range has stopped. We have no more source of passive points. We are 30 points ahead. That's all we got going for us. Now, Dagger is 30 points, So, but his Zimbo's out. Heat wave? What is that? Guided by the light. Uh, uh. Sorry? What? Wait. What? What? Whoa, how did that... I don't understand what just... I don't think he understood what just happened. Uh, what does that card do? That was so whack, bro. Uh, good game? Question mark? Another, okay, all right. We're up against Dagon again. And also, that's terrifying. Um, I, uh, fifth game in a row we go first. I like it, but wow. All right, we have proactivity. He's probably not got locks, probably. Um... Probably ditch a primal. Probably ditch a feral. Hmm. A lot of good stuff here. Obviously, we open with this. Come on, show us what you got. I don't actually know what I put at the bottom of my deck. Probably you, huh? What am I drawing with it though? That's a better question. Okay. Would you? Oh, I would actually, lady. Listen here, you have no idea. You have no idea how much I would love to hurt you. Okay. All right, egg. All right, what? I'm probably, probably, probably swapping you out with priest, huh? Priest in time. We'll use Onero for Olaf, should the need arise, which it most certainly will. Uh, get Rot Fiended here. Love it. Hopefully he misses. Go here. I would love it if he Rot Fiends one of these two. That'd be great. Actually, here is okay now. Uh huh. I'm not sure what ability triggers first there, but I'm sure I don't like it, whichever one it is. Ah, uh, let's see. Olaf, my man. Come on out and have a good time. Have a good time. Yet another card I have to premium premiumize. I'm out of meteorite powder, though. So if he doesn't pass here, we tap, uh, we tap Heim, we tap Olaf, we hit him with Heim, 
And uh, GTFO, hope for the best, is I don't want to play any of this. And Heim's really only good on Olaf. Another thing I need to make premium. Or we just have the round? I'm sorry. I'm not missing anything, am I? We just want to go up there too. Yeah, we take it. So Heim's kind of bad here now. I need to get rolling before this Dagon thing happens because Dagon is big stinky. I should. I probably actually have to take the round. I probably have to two all him because I'm not as scared of his his first uh, his first thing as I am his second thing. His second thing is nasty. Um, I'm probably bad here. Okay. Manticore is a thing I should probably be concerned about. I need you for dagger. And the rest of you are kind of okay, actually. You're up to four. Good job. Um, Feral Bond's probably the way to go. Huh? Not ex uh, hey, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Hold on. Hey. Hold on. Hey. I forgot. I forgot about you, buddy. You're going to work just fine. This thing's going to flip-flop back and forth. Ha, 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 ha. Wait. Oh, it's Fakusha. I forgot about her. That's fine, actually. I thought he was going to pull my dagger there for a second. I don't actually care about losing Fakusha here. Um, I may want to set this up. Maybe I should put her over here. No, it doesn't matter because she triggers at the end of turn. Yeah, it doesn't matter where the positioning is there. Uh, now we can start hashtag popping off. I don't know what I'm going to do with uh, Sigdrifa. Maybe one of these guys? Okay, that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm not hating any of that, really. We're gonna go... Whoa, we're not. We're gonna go... We're gonna go here. Then... Uh-huh. Slizzard? Okay. We're just gonna do this for... right. Actually, I need to play you up here, don't I? Okay, that kind of works. We go dagger next. Hey, he's got a lot of cards over there, so this is going to feel pretty great, actually. I'm cool with that. It's just going to flop back and forth forever, I guess. Um, here's... Dagger. Hope he doesn't have a heat wave. Give me some of that. I think I use. Uh, I need to start using some leaders, don't I? Because once we get down to it, I want to be chewing on stuff that don't need to be chewed on. Well, that's just a little bit nasty now, isn't it? Oh my goodness. I can ping this for two. Use a primal. Well, that's kind of nasty. Uh, I believe Fulminica is about to meet her doom. Kind of sad. But it is what it is. My man's in shock right now, and I don't blame him. I'll play Dagon. Do your, uh, do your worshiping thing. I think all of his death wishes is out because of that. Which is funny. Um, a reasonable choice. I would have liked to have seen how that played out, but uh, I understand, and I'm sorry. Good game, sir. Good game. Uh, Arrakis Swarm, huh? You best yield now. Really? 
this is the sixth game in a row I've gone first. I'm not bad. I kind of enjoy it. I'm just making an observation that that's kind of wild. Uh, mold of ferals. Not, or not, not the ferals. The, the thing. The bonds. Oh no, they, those are the ferals. These are primals. Okay, I'm all over the place. I probably want to boot this. We take the warrior. Probably want Olaf in hand. Seems like a reasonable choice. Ah, ba, 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 ba. We're just opening with that? What do you mean? That's a bit uh, wild, don't you think, my man? Okay. Source of points. I think we're going to need two priests. So we're going to swap one out with a veteran. Throw that at the bottom of the deck. We'll get this rolling over here. Argument could have been made to go get another Highland Warlord. A very good argument at that. Which is probably what I should have done. We can wait. We're not planning on playing our... Uh, prior. Ah! What are you doing, sir? Okay. Play this. We can do the uh, the Olaf Heim thing, which is always a fun, wholesome time. Arcane Tone. Are you Kane kidding me? Is this man Golden Necker? God. Ah. Oh. Oh, I understand. Oh, I never thought about that. Oh. Oh, that's kind of smart. Ah, I never thought about that. I thought it was just the rats. Ah. My man's a genius. Does that even work with the uh, the lamp gin? I'm not giving him this tone back, by the way. Um... What I am going to do is... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hashtag win. Go Olaf. And we'll stick him back here. Say goodbye to your tome, bud. I, he's got Arrakis nests and all kinds of nasty stuff I don't want him to deal with. I think that's where most of his organics. He's got a, a literal ton of organics. He is a Golden Necker deck. He's at least a Serenova deck, so we can assume Golden Necker. Uh, unfortunately, my dude... Uh, we're just going to have to get out pointed. Now, we are entering the part of the episode where we start considering our passes. Now, Primal onto a rat. In this context, isn't too bad. Does it boost itself? I consume all tokens on this row, gain immunity. When you consume one or more units, spawn a drone. So it's just going to replace it. It's okay. Oh, sick. <laughs> sick. Sick vitality, dude. <laughs> I don't want to play this primal. But in this context, it may be necessary. Just points. Keeps him from having points. Uh, by the way, are you just regurgitating these things? What, what is this? Hmm. It feels really bad playing these primals. Our other. I think those are only raid cards. Negative. These are other raid cards, but they don't really matter. So, you're kind of bricked now, bud. So that argument that uh, I was making myself about the warrior being a good pull was correct. 
Okay, how are you making up uh, 50, or not 50, the 15 points? Is that 15? I think it is. Something like that. It's some kind of number. Double digits. Also in flux because he, uh, well, we're kind of boosting at the same rate, actually, so. Uh. Huh? Well, that's fancy. It goes down to four. So. To one. We tie. He plays another card. This goes down. Bounces back up to eight. We laugh. And laugh and laugh. Or. What? Huh? How did that work? What do you mean? Oh. His. Passive points trait. Yes. Leo, you scumbag. What is wrong with you? Okay, now we have. A resilience unit on the board, which is fun. Um, yeah, we have reses. We could go for it here if we were pushed into it, which we're definitely going to be. I would like, uh, I mean, it's risky putting this back, but I would like some. What I. Good drive pass card. I know, I can't drive pass. Uh. Okay, well, we're not going to need the res, so that's that's good. How do I make up points? Is it really Pikusha? That's expensive. That's really expensive. That's like super duper expensive, bud. That looks like the only way, though. So we just can't have anything die, and we'll be fine. Chungus Olaf. Big Chungus. Alright, down a card. No last say. Should be dandy. Fine and dandy. We should be killing off his stuff before, uh... Before it has a chance to do anything. Alright, here's the deal. You need to get out of my hand. Perfect. Um, and I don't necessarily think you're going to be doing good. And you, oh, I see. Oh, this is perfect. I can use Nero on the totem. I can. Some people's kids, man. Just no respect. I want to hold off on that primal. Actually, this is all... Hmm. If all these kick off at the same time, it's kind of... Mm, okay, that's... One concern dealt with. All these kick off at the same time, I don't know if it's going to have the same effect. Uh, also, did they go in my graveyard? It did. I could, uh, I could res that. Also, wait a minute. Could also res defender, which might actually be a good idea. He's also got a defender, which I don't care about because I can work around that. What is that, dude? Okay, it's fine. I may actually care about a defender. Since I know he's carrying the, the sort of stankerous, I very well... I almost went for, <laughs> for Kusha there. That'd be bad, huh? Since I know he's got the stinky doo doo poo poo Tezham thing, however. What? She troll. Uh. Uh. During your turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to say. Alright, we set this up. This is beautiful. Boom. Slap him. 
slap him real good. We convert that, but it's it's totally okay because we're now we can hit it. I'm pretty sure he didn't want that converted right now, but it's happening. Um, I have to go dagger here. I have to. Convert a couple of these dudes into uh, bears. Be slapping things. The problem is right now I'm losing more points than he is, so I need him to play... Well, he's a rack of swarm, so he's got a swarm, right? That's hilarious. Wait, whenever. During your turn. Okay, so that's perfectly fine with me, my dude. We'll go ahead and bop. That's vicious. Vicious. And I love it. We'll go Feral Bond next. We have a dude to convert over here. Plenty of leader charges and stuff and things. That's fine. I don't care about that. We have a Feral Bond. I don't like any of you. I keep bleeding. Yeah, I reckon we go proc for our hunter for dagger procs. Go ahead and do that. Uh, I haven't done this yet, so go ahead and use a couple leaders. Next turn is going to be pretty nasty for me, but also for him. Oh, we're lockers. Okay. It's funny, guy. Yeah, I bet you wish you had a lock down here, didn't you? Okay. Hold on. No, I don't want to do that. We go here. This should just be actual carnage. Yeah, man, uh, rough, and I still have a defender active, so. <laughs> All right, what you gonna do about that 39 point uh, dagger there, bud? And mine's not conditional, right? Whenever your enemy takes damage, so yeah. Okay. He's he's a thing doer. We're out here doing things. Glusty, okay. Ooh, missed it by that much. That was a pretty good game. That was a pretty good game right there. I enjoyed that. 